Hi guys, so this is the top we are making today. It's a very fast project because using this bulky yarn we don't actually need to make that many rows. Is it is an easy project for beginners, but if you are starting on crochet, maybe you can use uh, just plain cotton yarn, a bulky cotton eight ply yarn would be cool to start, or you can use a solid color as well. I bought this solid color to make another project for me because I really enjoyed this top, and I realized that using this. Um, this uh, the velvet color on solid uh, color uh, actually doesn't on the video looks like it has a spray on it but it doesn't you, you can actually see the stitches so different than this one's a bit hard to see the stitches but you know using your finger you can actually count them easy and it's more like a touch and feel like you know, you can feel the stitches when you put your hook through. The hook I use is a 4.5 mil hook. You can use probably a two, um, number 5 if you want. Just be aware that's gonna be a li maybe a little bigger. Yes. So if you're a beginner, just buy a solid color and that will work better for you. So let's start this project right now. So to start making this top, we're going to start with a slip knot and then we are going to make 14 chains. So one, two. Twelve. So just place your finger here when you're on the twelve chain and then make two more so you know where to put the stitch here. Okay, and then so you're gonna count one, two, and three from the hook, and we're gonna make a double crochet there in that third stitch. And then we are going to make one double crochet in each chain all the way to the beginning. So as you can see, it's hard to see the stitches, but and that's why you need a little bit more experience in crochet. But it's basically the always the next loop underneath the next chain under. Okay, so we're gonna have one double crochet in each chain all the way to the top, all the way to where you started. Okay, so I got here to the first, my first chain here. And then now, I'm going to make in this first is in this first little hole here I'm going to make one, two double crochets and two chains in between. And here I'm going to make two more double crochets. So two double crochets, two chains and two other double crochets in that first stitch. And then I'm going to go straight to the next one here. Okay. And I'm also covering that tail underneath. So on the very next, we start going the other way. I got here, made the last stitch in that very first stitch from the on the other of the other side, and I'm going to make two chains to 
move to the second row, okay? Two chains and turn the work. And then I'm going to be placing right in this stitch and I'm going to make one double crochet to each double crochet again. So it's just a repetition of the row before, but now we are going to be placing that stitch on right on top of the stitches you made before on the row before. So one each until you reach these chains here, okay? And after that we're gonna be repeating this same row again a few more times. So I made my last double crochet here in that last double crochet and now I'm going to make exactly the same I did before. I'm going to be making two double crochets. Just place the hook underneath that chains you, you made before and make two double crochets with two chains and two other double crochets here. And then again, one double crochet in each double crochet all the way to the end. And then we're gonna make the next row. So the way you count rows, you can count here. So I have one, two, two little holes here. So two rows. And then I'm going to go to now start the third row again with two chains, turn my work and repeat that same thing we did before. So I'll be making five rows because I'm making a cup that you can use for a B or C, okay? B or C, it's gonna be this size. But if you wear an A cup, make one less, make only four rows of this, okay? Because then you're gonna be making a small, I'm making a medium here. So four rows of this for a small five rows for a cup uh, B or C and six, ro um, six rows for a large, okay? Or just try on yourself and see if it fits, if, it, if it's covering all your breasts and then you can stop. So just make it, make it there, stop the video here and then I'll be making five rows for my medium size. So here uh, I made four, I made five um, rows but uh, on the last row I stopped here in the middle because, um, let me see, here, I stopped here just before I got to these stitches that I make on top of these chains because uh, I already made my, this is my second part of the top so I'm going to show you how to join both together. And so the way I joined it was um, I made, so I'm going to make my first double crochet here. Okay, uh, on top of these chains. And then I'm going to join here with the first one I made on top of, the, with the same stitch that I have on the other side, basically. Okay, so I'm, the way I'm going to join is this one. So you count from the middle, one, two, on the second one, and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch. And then I'm going to make the second one on the other side. So the second double crochet, and join with the first with the second double crochet on the other with the same stitch on the other side which is the first one just before that chains so i'm going to make another slip stitch and then i'm going to make a single crochet on top of that chains and then again go straight to the next double crochet here 
and join with the first double crochet after the two chains, which is the same stitch on the other side with a slip knot. And then I'm going to make one more double crochet on top of the chains. And again, join with the next double crochet on the other side. So it's the stitch again. And then after that, that's how it looks like in the middle. And then after that, I'm going to just double crochet on the next double crochet available on the other side. So that's the way you join them both. So you know when you get there, you can come back to this. I'm gonna put this as a chapter underneath so it's easier. And I'm and I'm also going to put on the description below the exact uh, a similar yarn to this one that I used because I bought mine at here in Australia at Spotlight. And I'm gonna see if I can find one on Amazon that's a similar size to this one, but it's a um, velvet yarn. Really nice to work, uh, really soft to work. And so the way you work with this type of yarn, you can you sort of like feel the where the holes are. They are right on the top of your stem of your stitch here. And then that's where you can feel the hook goes through easy where the stitch is. It's a yarn that you can't really see the stitches. You go more by the feeling of the stitch than the, than the visual itself. That's why I don't recommend this yarn for beginners. But you can make the same top in another, you know, in another yarn. Probably just um, making one more row of these ones just to get to the right size and I'm gonna show you guys the size in inches in a second. So here I got to my last stitch and then I'm going to start working to the side here. So to do that I'm going to make two chains and start working on the side. So I'm going to make one double crochet, two double crochets to each row that I have. So I'll be placing my hook here, right in the middle of this row and making my first double crochet. And then in between both rows here, it's going to be the other one. So two double crochets to each row you have, always one in the middle and one in between both rows. Again, it's more like you have to kind of look like this with your finger or something. This is in between, it's in the middle of the row and this stitch here is um, in between both of them. So I'll be working like that all the way to the end. And then I'm going to grab, you, you make yours there, this row there, and I'm going to grab the, I'm going to measure this. So this is from the top here all the way to the end I have 7 inches and here I have 6 in centimeters I have 18 centimeters and 15 centimeters so this is a medium size okay if you're making a smaller one or a large that will change from here we're gonna start working this part here as you can see there's it's a different bit different stitch and to make this stitch, I'm going to start now with three chains for the next row. So chain three there. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to double crochet, skipping one, so I'm going to skip this stitch. You can see always the stitch right on top of the stem. So I'm going to skip this one and make a double crochet on the next one. And then I'm going to chain one and make, again, skip this one and make a double crochet on the next one. So I'm going to repeat that all the way to the end and repeat this same um, the same row again um, a few times. Let me count here. So I made here two, four, six, eight rows. Okay, if, if you are making a small size, make a bit less. Okay, just actually uh, try on your body. That's how I did it. Uh, you know, I, I tried every time I made a little bit of it. Um, as well for the part of the sleeves. So it was eight, yeah? Two, four, six, eight. So repeat eight rows there or until you think it's enough for you. It should go around your back but just a little bit so we can uh, attach the sleeve after, the, the little part of the sleeve. So um, don't go all the way around but uh, you know, just a little bit after uh, where where your back starts, not, you know, a bit after underneath the arm, okay, so a few centimeters after underneath your arm. That's gonna be on that chains from the beginning. And again, now to go to the next row, I'm going to make again three chains, turn my work, and now it's easier because I'm going to make every double crochet on top of the double crochet I had before. As you can see here, with one chain in between. Okay, so repeat that eight times and then we're gonna do the sleeve part. So this is what I have now and um, just so you know this open uh, this part with that open um, stitch it's five and a half inches for this size okay if you're making a large make it a little longer or just try on yourself like I did. I had to try on myself to place this uh, part here on the right on the right place. Okay, so I placed this a few stitches before the end. So one, two, three on the fourth stitch of this part here. That's where I started. You can see the stitches are going one direction here and one direction here. So you count only the ones that are going these directions, this direction here. So one, there's one there, let me see. Okay, so that's there. Yeah. So one, two on the third one, that's where we're gonna start making this part here to then attach the um, make this little fluffy sleeve after with these pompons okay so here make sure you're making it on the right side so i have to cut this yarn cut this yarn after you finish here so um make a slip a slip knot here on the beginning Okay, and then right there where we have our marker, just let me make sure it's on the right one. One, two, on the third one, so one before that. You can keep your marker where it is. I'm just placing my marker exactly 
where I had you on the other side, okay, but you keep where you placed yours because that's that's going to be right for you. So one, two, two on the third one, okay, just with the slip knot already on the hook, make your pull it a bit so it's tied and make um, Another slip, no, uh, another slip stitch to start, and then two chains. And then from here we are going to work one, two, and three double double crochets, which is gonna count as four. We always count the two chains from the beginning. In every single stitch we make, we always count that two or three chains, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three. I make two because two makes it more uh, straight at, at the end, as you can see here. See how straight it is? And that's because I'm using two chains and not three. If you use three chains, sometimes it gets a little bit not that flat at the end. So next row, two chains again. And then three more double crochets, one in each double crochet from before. And we we are going to be repeating this until this size is enough to go around your shoulder. So I'm going to actually measure this here for you guys. But that's the size for me. Okay, you have to keep trying on yourself to see if uh, you have, if you made enough, okay, so for me, and make sure you don't make it, uh, you make um, exactly the size, because this stretches, okay, so you don't want this shoulder thing falling from your, from your arms all the time, so um, 16, 15 and a half centimeters. So we're gonna measure only from uh, the the end of your top this way, okay? So I fold it in the middle, so it's actually double. So um, it's 15 and a half centimeters or six inches. So two times six inches, 12 inches, okay? So it's double because we're going to be doing all the way to the other side. So just repeat that until you have a six inches folder folded or a total of 12 inches uh, if it's not folded. And then I'm gonna show you how we are going to attach this part to the other side of the top. Okay, so I made the same number of rows that I had on the other side. Um, you should do that too, so you have the exact same size. And so here, how, how can you then cut uh, count the number of rows you have? So every time you can see your finger, you can put your finger through. That's one row. So one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen rows, that's what I have. And the same way, how can you count uh, stitches uh, on a bulky yarn like this, because it's hard to see. Same thing, one, two, three, and four uh, stitches on the last one here, okay? And here, same thing. Just put your finger through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's how you count stitches in this bulky yarn because it's hard to see them. So yeah, just put your finger through, same thing for the rows and the number of stitches. That makes it easier. So here I finished here my 15 rows or 12 inches 
and then I'm going to join with the you other join. side this part here on the same place that I had here I'm going to just flip this side here so it's easier okay and I'm going to place it right where I had here so one two three four stitches from the beginning okay so uh, halfway on the second that second hole so I'm not gonna do on this one I'm going to do on this one in the middle of it so all I'm going to do is just put the hook through right in the middle there and then make one single crochet then I'm going to put in the middle of this next one here and I'm not gonna need this because remember we count each row as two stitches so I'm here and I'm going to put the hook through that stitch on the back and pull it making a single crochet and then again in the middle here that's our next stitch and on our next stitch on the back as well remember we had four and then one here right in the middle of this row and there on that second chain from the beginning pull it and make a single crochet so that's how it is now and this is on the back that's perfect so that's the front of it and that's the back so now from here we are going to start this sleeve part so here. now that we finished attaching here I'm gonna put this row through because we are going to start working on the right side so just here from here just make sure you're working on this side and not on the other side because that's the side the sleeves gonna go where the arm hole is okay if you're not just make one more row here and then you're gonna end up on the on the right side okay so now we are going to work five chains so chain five there four five and then we're going to skip one two three stitches remember that we count uh, each row counts as two so that's the way I'm counting one two three four five and then underneath skip one two on the third one you make the stitch and so on the third one I make a single crochet and then five more chains and then here one two three third one single crochet one two three four five at the end make sure you have the same number that then on the other side I always do that one two three On the, when you get to the last one I'm going to make you make five chains there and connect to this other side so count one two three stitches here single crochet and then one more single crochet on the next row there and one more here and then we are going to make one, two, three, four, five chains, turn the work and single crochet right here 
underneath this net first arch and then we're gonna repeat that all the way back to the other side so chain five and single crochet in this next arch chain five single crochet on the next arch so repeat that all the way to the other side all the way to the other side and then when we get here we are going to connect this next row here because we want like this to happen okay so repeat that there and stop the video here so i'm here on the other side and i'm going to just repeat the same thing i'm going to make five chains and count one two three stitches and make one single crochet here one more here right in the middle there of the row and one here so three single crochets going that way and then five chains again so chain five turn your work and then we are going to single crochet in that first arch on that first arch and repeat that all the way back to the other side again so always chain five here and then after that we're gonna make this last one with the little balls so now we are going to make three chains to finish this row three chains and then one double crochet right where we had that last stitch from the row before here and then we can because we want the last row a bit more loose so that it does that and so we are not gonna gonna connect on this part here anymore on this last row and now to think the last row we're going to make one two three chains turn over three chains and then put your finger right on top here on of the last one and make three more one two three after this third one we're going to put yarn in yarn over and then put the hook through the stitch right after your finger which is going to be the third from the hook and we're going to pull it yarn over hook through that same stitch pull it yarn over hook through that same stitch and pull it so right here you have five loops and you're gonna pull it through them all at the same time then after that you're gonna put the hook through that same stitch and make um, slip stitch and then after the slip stitch three more chains and then single crochet in that next arch so there it is i'm going to make one more time so one two three chains put your finger right on top of it so you know where to place the next stitch and one two three yarn over hook inside that third chain from the hook pull it one more time pull it one more time pull it and then put the hook through them all pull the hook again in that same stitch i try to use the other side of it and then here um single um, slip stitch and then three more chains
So repeat all the way, this all the way to the end and then when you get to the, to the last arch you just make the last one, the last pompon here and you can finish your, okay, you can cut your yarn like I have here. Okay, and this was my last one. And then we are going to finish all these tails here and then I'm gonna probably be making a row of single crochet all around it just because we are going to have the, um, the tie going through all these uh, little squares here or in at least some of them. I think this should be a little bit um, more stronger at the end. So I'll be making a single crochet row all around it. This last row, make sure you on the right side of your top. So the little chains at the end here, they're facing you. I know it's a bit hard to see on with this yarn, but make sure you're working on the right side, not the side where you waved your tails before. And then here, right next to this last stitch, we'll be making a slip knot on the hook and put through that next stitch. And then we're just gonna single crochet around, make a few more here on the corners so you can... And then here, one single crochet in each stitch from before and when you get to the rows you are making two single crochets in each row one in the middle of the row like we did before exactly like we did before one in the middle of the row and one in between the rows so yeah I tried it on you don't actually need this row here but because we are going to um, put the string through these holes here I, I need this, I think this is better to have an extra protection here because it's gonna slide through and it's, I don't think strong enough only one um, row of crochet so I'm making one more all around the top just keep going you know here and in the, here and then here yeah and then when you get here just go through around the the sleeve part as well and then on the top here until you are back to this same spot here and then we're gonna make the ties the strings because we will be closing the top like this I was gonna actually make a black one for me because I would like it black to go to festivals and parties and that's really cool but I prefer definitely prefer the black but I made the pink because it's just easier to explain so that's how we are going to close it on the back and then we're just gonna make a um, string this is here. how it looks like with the last row around it I think it's much better than what it was before it gave it gave the whole top a little a really nice finish and now with a double yarn so you grab one uh, one tail from the inside of the ball and one from the outside and we can then work with these two uh, double yarn okay so make your slip knot and then just work chains so here for the string I use 250 chains which I think is a bit too much so I'm going to probably undo around 50 chains so it's a bit smaller a bit shorter I didn't need that much but um, it's really good to keep the 
sleeves right on your shoulder without falling to the sides and so this is like this is how it looks like on the front I really love these uh, little sleeves like that you can actually make them longer if you would like to just keep making rows of chains here okay and um, that's it guys looks lovely easy project for summer for um, for festivals it's really cool it has that velvet feeling that feels really nice on your body as well and so i hope you enjoyed this this tutorial okay give me a like if you like this video subscribe to my channel because i'll be making more of these tutorials with this yarn as well this bulk yarn is really fast and easy and it looks really nice Thank you for watching. Have a good week.